Welcome back to AJ's Week in Web, where you can get all of the web development trends for the week in three minutes or less. First up, Spinnaker sets sail to the Continuous Delivery Foundation. Netflix and Google are joining up to donate this directly to the CDF. For those using Spinnaker already, that's a huge bonus because they'll just continue to grow this product so well that it'll work across everything. If you're new to Spinnaker, go ahead and check it out in the description below. It's gonna take care of your continuous delivery for enterprise across multi-cloud instances with high velocity and confidence. Next up is KV Storage. It's being billed as the web's first built-in module. If you're used to local storage, but you think it's too slow, this is a great option. I've also experienced the same thing that they talked through in the article as far as index DB. It is kind of a lot to take in as far as the API is concerned. KV storage modules seems to be a little bit simpler to use and allow you the same structure that index DB offers and also with the simplicity of local storage without the performance burden. So check that out in the description below. A fun little tool coming out of Google Chrome Labs is something called Comlink. Comlink makes web workers enjoyable, which is something that I have been struggling with. Um, I've been using work, Workbox for a little while now. I'm getting very familiar with it, but it still seems very cumbersome to work between the UI side of things and service workers. I think Comlink has some great value in it. Um, it really breaks things down in a simplistic way and offers some really good uh, transfer handlers that will allow you to work between the two states. A new item that hit the Chrome platform status for Blink is, is input pending? And what's happening here is that when you're loading up your first initial page load and you want to allow that user interaction to happen, that's that score that you always get dinged on in Lighthouse, or at least I do, um, you still want to let your users be able to enter input, but you also have a ton of page resources that you're trying to load. What this proposal is offering is that when someone actually does try to enter an input, it will take care of that and bring in the input and then continue loading past that. I feel like I'm constantly looking for the right tool to help me understand RxJS. And a nice one out there is the operator decision tree. I was reminded about this in a meeting not too long ago. So I just wanted to bring this back up. Um, what it does is you select all the items that you need and it drives you to the correct documentation for that RxJS operator. I've used Cloudinary for quite some time now, but ImageKit.io really grabbed my eye because they have a lot of good tools for SEO um, when it surrounds images. The best part that I've seen that I really enjoy is their website analyzer. It will rip through your page and check out all of the different images on it and suggest items that need to be fixed and how to fix them, as well as offering up ImageKit's ability to uh, resize those images down to the right bandwidth on the wire. Thank you so much for watching AJ's Week in Web. If you like web development news, subscribe today and click that bell. You'll get instant notification each week when the newest episode drops.